It's the 7th of October 2022 and Trials of Osiris is back for the weekend. Meaning once again you got the chance to get some great weapons and armour from the weekly PvP event in Destiny 2. Trials are around from Friday until recent on Tuesday, so you got until then to hunt down the available rewards this weekend. Well if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell and roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, let's check out that important information first, and that is the map and the adept loop for the weekend. We're looking at the map for the weekend. We've got Endless Vale, so that's a really good map. And the adept loop for the week is the new one. It's the shotgun. It's an adept inquisitor. We'll stick around for info related to weapons of Goros to chase in Season of Plunder. Well, Trials of Osiris are the pinnacle PvP activity in Destiny 2 and every weekend. The best players compete in 3v3 elimination for one goal, and that is to go flawless. So first of all, head down to see Saint-14 in the tower, and don't forget to pick up the passage of your choice. Loot is no longer acquired by winning 3, 5 and 7 matches. It's all about winning rounds and not matches, and that helps you rank up the Saint-14 in the tower to get that Trials loot. So rank up, earn armour, weapons and powerful upgrades, plus you get Trials engrams, while you are playing Trials. Let's have a look at the loop for the season. So we've got Reed's Regret, Aisha's Embrace, The Burden of Guilt, Forgiveness, Whistler's Whim, The Inquisitor, and The Atavistic Armor. So win rounds and rack up the save 14 in the tower to get more awards. Okay, so let's have a closer look at the Goros to chase in Season of Plunder. So first of all, we've got Reed's Regret. This one is a stasis linear fusion rifle in the power slot for PvP. Heating up an Adagio would be good. And for BVE, triple tap and firing line is the one you want to go for. Then we have Aisha's Embrace, it's a rapid fire scout rifle. For PVE, triple tap and Vorpal weapon would be good. And for BVP, compulsive reloader and multi kill glip is the one you want to go for. Then we've got the Burden of Guilt, it's an adaptive frame kinetic stasis fusion rifle. For PVE, perpetual motion and chill clip. For PVP, perpetual motion and Vorpal weapon. Then we have Forgiveness, it's an arc energy sidearm with an aggressive burst. For PvE, Demolitionist and Adrenaline Junkie would be good. Have a PvP, Air Assault and Vorpal Weapon. Then we have the new one, so we've got Whistler's Whim, that is a kinetic bow. This one comes with Kill Clip, so for PvE, Killing Wind and Kill Clip would be good. Have a PvP, Tunnel Vision and Kill Clip, that is a good one to go for. Finally, we have the Inquisitor, this one is an Arc Energy Slug Shotgun. For PvE, Demolitionist and Golden Tricorn would be good. Have a PvP, Perpetual Motion and Opening Shot. That is the one you want to go for. Well, let me know if you are jumping into Trials this weekend, and if you are, good luck. Well, that is it for this guide for the Trials of Osiris map and reward this weekend on the 7th of October 2022. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you really, really soon.